All right, hello. Um, we're gonna go over domain and range for a piecewise function, and then we're gonna look at domain and range for a rational function, and we're gonna put these in interval notation. So domain for a piecewise function, remember that domain has to do with the x values. It's the x values that are in our, um, our independent variable. So our x-axis, and when we look at this graphically, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to look at the x-axis here. You could take this graph and look at the smallest x value that's on this graph, that's included in the graph. Here, notice that negative 4, there are no values on this side of the graph of negative 4. So negative 4 is going to be our smallest x value. So if we start at negative 4, and then we go, and we continue, we'll notice that all of these x values are on the graph. All of these x values, even x equals 0, because this is um, shaded in. And we're going to continue to go, and our, our largest x value is 3. So we're going from negative 4 to 3. And since both of these are included in my range, I'm going to use brackets for interval notation. If we want to use non-interval notation, we can write it as x is between 3 and negative 4. We can also do this for the range, except for the range we're going to look at the y-axis. So we're going to look at this graph and look at the smallest y value. So we're going to start down here and go up. Our smallest y value that's in our graph is right here at negative 2. So our smallest value is negative 2. From that, we're going to continue going, and we're going to, any breaks that this has, we're going to have to break it off in our interval notation. But in this case, there are no breaks, because as we continue, all of these y values are in this graph. We're going to continue. There's a break here, but this y value is still in this graph. And then our highest y value is 3, but, but actually it doesn't include 3 because this is an open circle. So I'm going to go to 3. It includes negative 2, but does not include 3, so we're going to use an open parenthesis. We can write this as y is less than 3 or greater than or equal to 2 if I wanted to write the domain that way. Over here, we have a rational function. For our rational function, we notice we have asymptotes at x equals 2 and y equals 1. Now, in this particular problem, we're going to have these values of x. Well, let's look at this in, in terms of the negative, the x-axis. What is going to be our smallest x value? Well, it doesn't really end, does it? It just keeps going. And so if it keeps going, it's going to go out to negative infinity. So my smallest value here is negative infinity. I'm going to go ahead and start there. Then as I continue to go on the x-axis, I'm going to get very, very close to 2, but I'm not going to hit 2, because this is an asymptote, and the vertical asymptote we're not going to cross. So in this case, we're going to stop at 2, and we're going to need to skip 2. So we're not going to include 2. Then we're going to have to continue because we're going to go out, and F, if you notice this, we're going to go out all the way out to infinity. So we're going to go out to infinity. And then here we're going to have, we're going to go all the way up to y equals 1. So for the range, we're starting here at negative, but notice this goes all the way down forever. So again, we're going to we're going to start at negative infinity, and then we're going to go all the way up to 1. And not include 1, because notice that we don't cross this asymptote. It's never going to hit 1, so we're going to go up to 1, but not include it. And we're going to do a similar thing that we did with the domain, in that we're going to start again and go up. So we're going to go up to 1 and go to infinity. All right, so those are two examples of doing domain and range, putting them in interval notation for a piecewise defined function and for a rational function that has asymptotes.